after acknowledging compliance with all FOIA rules um, that we have followed, I would ask for the clerk to call the roll. Okay, Ms. Wilson, I am able to verify that the meeting was advertised in accordance with the South Carolina Freedom of Information Act. And at this time, I will call the roll. Ms. Teresa Wilson? Present. Ms. Melissa Gentry? I think she's on mute. Missy, I think you may be on mute. Present. Mr. Ryan Coleman? Present. Thank you. Um, with those members present, I think we've established a quorum. Am I correct, Madam Clerk? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and we'll move into our new business. The first item being the adoption of the Articles of Incorporation, approval of the bylaws and other matters relating to the organization of the Columbia Community Investment Fund. Um, I've reviewed those, um, Mr. Season and Mr. Norris. So at this time, um, do we need a motion to adopt those articles of incorporation bylaws? Uh, yes, that'd be appropriate. And this just, uh, this is, um, this is Brandon, just to be clear, this would be the approval, not only of the articles, which have already been filed, um, but in the bylaws, as you noted, but also the several other, um, actions that are listed in the prepared resolutions that you have before you. So that would include um, Ms. Wilson approval of your waiver of sole incorporator, um, you know, waiver of notice of this meeting, uh, the election of the officers, which uh, Ms. Wilson would be president in your capacity as city manager. Ms. Gentry would be vice president in her capacity as assistant city manager for development and uh, Ryan Coleman would be secretary treasurer in his capacity as economic development director um, to adopt a fiscal year of July 1 uh, through June 30 um, to authorize steps needed to apply for a employer identification number to authorize uh, generally the opening of a bank account, obtaining insurance and to ratify actions of officers of the corporation prior to this date, uh, to the extent any have been taken, and to sort of uh, authorize any other steps needed to finalize the organization of the corporation. Thank you, Brandon. Um, is there a motion? I'll make a motion to accept. Thank you, Missy. Um, a second? Second. Any discussion? Okay, seeing none, Madam Clerk, call the roll. Ms. Wilson? Aye. Ms. Gentry? Aye. Mr. Coleman? Aye. Thank you. Okay, item two, authorization to submit application for recognition of exemption under section 501c3 of the Internal Revenue Code to the Internal Revenue Service. Brandon, is there any explanation here you need to give? Uh, there's a, is Jeff Allen on the phone as well? Jeff, are you there? I'm here. Uh, so this is Jeff Allen, Ms. Wilson, and he helps um, and really guides um, our clients through this application process. I'm gonna step to the side and let him explain this. Okay. Sure, so this is an authorization um, to file a form 1023 with the Internal Revenue Service, which is the form that is required to be filed for an organization to be recognized as a 501c3 organization. And so it's a form that um, we would work and help you all prepare uh, and get filed relatively quickly um, as part of making sure the organizations in good shape for, for applying for CDE status. Okay, thank you for that, Jeff. Um, with that said, is there a motion? I'll make a motion to approve. Okay, and a second. 
Uh, second. Any discussion? Thanks. Seeing none, the clerk will call the roll. Ms. Wilson? Aye. Ms. Gentry? Aye. Mr. Coleman? Aye. Thank you. Okay, item three, authorization to submit application for recognition of community development entity status to the Community Development Financial Institutions Fund of the United States <clears throat> Department of the Treasury, the CDFI Fund. Uh, Brandon, you wanna take us through this item? Sure, it's a relatively simple um, application to complete. And, I, and Jonathan, um, I would say, feel free to jump in here if you've got any thoughts or can provide some color, but the uh, it's it's maybe the first step in um, a series of steps that are needed to apply for new markets tax credits allocation. Only CDEs can apply for that allocation. And so it's just we're asking the CDFI fund to recognize you uh, this entity as a CDE under the new markets program. Brandon's exactly right. It is overwhelmingly perfunctory. Um, I can think of two sort of substantive aspects of it. Uh, one is that we are, for the first time, being asked to identify our service area. That's a topic Missy and we have been discussing, and we'll confirm uh, that decision before making that application. Second, we are required to identify at least several of our accountable board members to show that we meet the statutory requirement for being accountable to low-income communities. So that has implications for getting at least several of our advisory board members uh, approved ahead of making that application. Other than that, it's really just identifying who we are. And I expect that that certification application will be due about two weeks after the NOAA, the Notice of Allocation Authority comes out. And the industry is literally on day-to-day -day notice at this point. We think the NOAA could come out you know, any day now. So that gives you a sense of timing. Okay, excellent. So with that, I will ask for a motion to uh, submit application for recognition of the Columbia Community Investment Fund as a CDFI uh, entity or with that status. I'll make that motion. A second? Ma'am, a second. Thank you, any further discussion? Seeing none, Erica? Ms. Wilson? Like to call the roll. Ms. Wilson? Oh, I'm sorry, aye. <laughs> Ms. Century? Aye. Mr. Coleman? Aye. Thank you. Um, Michael, Brandon, Jonathan, we're not usually on this side of the, you know, calling the <laughs> roll and making the motions, right? <laughs> okay. You're, you're doing a great job. <laughs> Any other business that we need to take up, gentlemen? Uh, if permitted, I would uh, just make a couple of housekeeping uh, comments. Okay, go right ahead. Great. Um, while I've got Michael and Brandon on the call, uh, guys, do we were we able to pull an EIN number? That's a that's a prerequisite to getting that Amos certification uh, completed. Um, this is Michael. Uh, Jeff, Allen on the phone. We haven't gotten anything from the IRS yet, have we? We have not. Okay. We will we will check the follow up after this call, uh, Jonathan. And I know that we want to have a conversation um, on our side with with our next steps. Yeah. Let, if if we don't have it yet, give me a call. We we do this pretty routinely, and and we get pretty quick turnaround. So maybe there's just a maybe there's a miscommunication on that. So happy to talk it through. Okay. Um, and then you guys heard me on what we expect as far as timing okay. of the deadline for cer getting certified. And uh, Jeff appreciated your comments about filing for the not-for-profit <clears throat> status. Uh, I think everybody understands. We just want to make sure that application has been submitted to the IRS before we uh, uh, apply for CDE certification status. Understand. Um, again, as we discussed before, Jonathan, I think one of the the things that's going to take the most time in that application is putting together the financial projections. And so I'll be reaching out to you um, for help with that aspect of the application. That fell off my radar. So let me um, circle back with you, Jeff, to make sure I know 
In fact, I'll just ask right now, if you have a, a simple form that you can um, take any names away from to show me the kind of financial information you'd be looking for, I'm more than happy to prepare something for Missy's approval that, uh, that you could use. I will send it over to you shortly. Wonderful. Last, uh, last miscellaneous item, Missy, we're, I believe Kylie and I are expecting to work with Lynette as kind of our um, counterpart to get you guys logged into the Amos system to get you an account on Amos. We can't do that until we have the uh, EIN, but Lynette, I'm, I'm expecting to be our, our, our counterpart to make sure uh, she's aware of sort of how that system works. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Very good. That's all I have. Um, Jonathan, one um, item that you, I think you mentioned it by email before this call, do you want to speak a little bit about the advisory board? Um, I think you mentioned getting together with Missy to uh, you know, start reviewing names or, and, or finalizing names and, and things like that. Yes, happy to. Uh, Missy was very kind and got us a very good long list of potential candidates. We are narrowing that down, I expect, within the day, Missy that we will come back to you with maybe our top priority, top seven, and then who would be the next group below that if you didn't like some of those names or wanted a larger advisory board. At that point, I'd love to just reach a decision about who that slate of candidates are, get that approved, and that way we could start, uh, whoever you designate, we could start reaching out to those individuals and invite them to join the advisory board. Uh, as I said, it would be uh, it would be important for us to at least be able to put, let's say, three of those names into our certification application. So given that we think that'll be due within two to three weeks, we'd love to keep the process moving forward. Okay, sounds good. Michael, did you want me to go further into that? Like, what is the role of the advisory board? Okay. Um, un unless board members have questions, um, I just wanted to, um, to keep the sort of to-do items in front of us, that's all. Perfect. Do we need- Ms. Wilson, back to you. Okay, I was just going to ask if we needed to um, get the executed documents. I think maybe Ryan had one to sign as well to Erica, or, how, or do we need to get them to one of you? Um, Brandon, do we need, or Jonathan, do we need originals of, of these documents to be um, submitted or can we can we use scans or or at least in the meantime? Yeah, I'm. I, I actually don't believe they require us to upload documents. I think we just we just literally in the certification application that is we just literally go through and we say here's here's who we are, and then even yeah, and so I don't actually think we need any documents submitted on their system. They sort of assume that okay. we know what we're doing. For uh, for um, purposes um, of just, I'm sorry, Michael, go ahead. No, 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 no. You. I was going to say just for purposes of record keeping, we, I mean, if we receive originals, we'll be putting together a corporate notebook um, that contains all the organizational material and would send originals back to, um, back to the city to, and, and, and copies in whatever number are requested. So, um, or if this, if the folks um, with the city would prefer to keep the originals, that's fine. We can put together notebooks just with copies, but, if, if we get the originals, we'll put together notebooks with the originals in them and send them back. Okay. Erica, what's your preference? Do you want me to send these originals to you um, via Ryan and then you get them to Brandon and Michael? Um, yes, ma'am. We can handle it that way. Okay. And from a, from a timing perspective on the 1023 side, if we could get scans, of, of at least a scan of at least the signed bylaws. I will need those for the 1023 side. Okay. And I think I think I think those are signed by um by Ryan, isn't that right? That's correct. By the Secretary Treasurer? Yeah. Correct. Do you have those, Ryan? Or is this the document titled Organizational Resolutions of the Board of Directors? Or so do the actual bylaws need to be signed by him as well? It would be, I think we would go ahead and ask for Ryan to sign both. So he would sign the uh, organizational resolutions and the bylaws. And then 
Okay. Uh, Ms. Wilson, I believe you signed the only other two documents and you've already signed those. So. Okay. All right. I got those. I'll um, get those. I'll get mine done and executed and I'll get them by to y'all tomorrow. Okay. Ryan, did you see that we Great. sent out a revised draft of that right before this call, Ryan, of the bylaws? Yeah, I, I saw that come through. Okay. Okay. I'm not Perfect. sure I get the right version. Okay. Sounds good. And are you going to give those directly to Brand get them to Brandon, Ryan, or to Erica? Brandon, who do they need to go to? Or Ultimate, ultimately, if they come to me, that would be maybe the easiest way for us to compile everything in one notebook for y'all and send it back. Okay. Um, so yeah, if, they, if you want to route them through Erica, that's fine. Or if you want to send them directly to me, that's, that's fine too, whatever's easier. And it sounded like you preferred a scan copy as soon as possible. So Ryan, if you could go ahead and scan the bylaws once you sign those documents, scan them back to Brandon, that would be helpful. And then um, if I could get that corporation notebook to keep on file in the clerk's office, that would be helpful. Perfect, will do. Thank you. Yeah, thanks y'all. Other business? Okay, seeing none, I will ask for a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion. Second. I will second. All right, the first meeting is adjourned. Thank you, everyone. Thank you all. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.